April 16, 2015, this adopted miniature schnauzer used to have skin disease and the, I think the owner abandoned him or gave him up. Now, actually when the dog has a lot of hair, you can't tell because uh, the fungus, the ringworm, uh, the, the ringworm spots cannot be seen, but uh, this one is a very long chronic case of ringworm and uh, it's spread all over the body. Now, ring, ringworm, once they have healed, uh, they come, you can see them as a, as a circular spot. There you can see. Uh, so I just have a video because this one is, is the, been treated by the owner or the, the uh, how long you have it? You have a year and a half. Uh, so the owner, the new owner must have just put a lot of uh, uh, antifungal wash on, like Sibolis, like you have yes. And this antifungal wash did kill the, the, the ringworm, but unfortunately, because she kept on applying, so it changed color to, to a black. Now you can see the ring. The center of the ring normally has healed, but it becomes pigmented. There is one ring here. In fact, you can see the ring here. If you can see, there's a ring. Oh. So, the hair comes back, but not all of it. Now, the trouble with this ringworm is if the, if the owner treats it with shampoo, it's not enough, you it? need to treat it with uh, oral tablets as well. So the ringworm spread down, and the dog is very itchy. It spread down to the legs, and the dandruff scales, and, so. uh, and it's part of the soul. So, this part all got infected, and uh, without shaving the, the hair bone, it's very hard to treat because uh, although they do recover, but they don't recover entirely. That's why you can see the ring. This ring, the center part is recovered, but pigmented. But this one have not recovered, so it's spread. Is it? You notice? Mm -hmm. oh, because the normal skin, the normal skin should be white color, should be this color. Yeah. It should be a normal skin color. And uh, do you apply any cream or anything? No. Or maybe the previous owner applied some cream. Yeah. And uh, is this part very itchy, this part? Can you drop against uh, the wall? No, not really up against the wall, but more biting the, the uh, feet and the hands mm. and scratching up the face. Uh, so the, the ringworm has spread. So sometimes together the ringworm there is the mite, we call dermatex. Huh? The dermatex mites comes in, they are under the skin. But when the dog is healthy, the dermatex mites don't uh, attack the dog. But when the dog is not uh, healthy, due to ringworm, generalized ringworm, the mice will attack the eyes, the area of the eyes, the elbow, you can see that, the elbow, but you can't see the mice are all microscopic. And then they attack here, both elbows. This side, the whole elbow is black here. And uh, we call it the, the spectacle eyes. Normally it's all here, it's black. But this one is not so obvious. But you can see this one is really itchy, scratching like this, scratching. Like. And sometimes the fungus might have gone into the ears. So that's why the dog, the dog was uh, stretching the, the neck. Okay, finish so we need to treat.